Today, we are finally in one of our dream destinations here in the Philippines. And every Filipino's dream destination. It's the smallest and most northern part of the country. Known for its scenic landscapes. Unpredictable weather! And home to the Ibatan people. This is probably one of our most requested destinations. We're, We're in Batanes! Alright guys, we are currently boarding now to Basco, so let's go to Batanes. And on this trip, we'll be joined by our good friends and fellow travel vloggers, Jan and Anne. We're actually not flying to Basco, we're getting the bus to Basco. How's the bus going across the water? It's got planes, it's got like wings that will pop out. Okay. Just like that, we have arrived at Basco Batan. It's one of the most scariest landing I've ever experienced. Wow. But here we are, here we are. No way is that the tricycles look bizarre. It's like a little house. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a box. It looks like a little house. <laughs> Toast. We're here. We made Good. it. We made it. We have arrived at the place where we will be staying for the next few nights. It's called Boulder Bay Residences. It's not that far, it's about three kilometers away from the airport. It's been a travel day, so after checking in, we're just gonna get some lunch and just chill. So, yeah, come with us, I'll show you our room. All right guys, so we have now settled and I think it's time for a room tour. Over here, we actually got two twin beds here, but there's also a queen bed option, guys, that is available. Um, there's a big flat screen TV here, and my favorite bit, like, you know me, I freaking love my fridge. I love the fridge. But anyway, but you can like put all your clothes in here. Toilet, the CR, it's quite spacious in there, guys. Like, so spacious. And here's my favourite bit, and I guess this is Zoe's favourite bit as well because on the other side of the room, look at this. Wow, just look at that view, like there's so much green, the sea's just there, and the road is just so like, it doesn't feel like we're in the Philippines. The view from this balcony is just amazing, like I just love looking at the like mountain over there. I feel like... This is what I would imagine Hawaii to mm. look like. It's just such a vibe, honestly. And I'm super excited because soon, this afternoon, we're gonna go on a half day tour of Botanas, our first of, I think, yes. three tours. So I'm so excited for that and to like finally like experience Botanas because mm. it's been on our bucket list for such a long time. Like so many of you, I know that this is like everyone in the Philippines dream destination. I'm so excited to share it with you and I really hope that one day you can come too and this will help you with your itinerary. The tour that we're gonna do later is gonna be the Land North Tour and we're gonna be spending our sunset there. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Let's go! Let's go. Gorgeous. So we're finally out exploring Botanics. It looks beautiful, guys. I'm so excited. Everywhere we have seen so far, just in the car, has been so, so, so beautiful. It's so scenic, guys. We're actually doing this tour with Tattoos Traveling Tours, and we're doing the, the North Tour. Yeah, and so far, we've come to our first stop, which is the Rolling Hills, and it is incredible. It's amazing. Oh, I can't believe we're in Botanics. Just look at this view. Oh. My God. So the first stop is the Rolling Hills. 
and guys, it's so scenic. It's honestly like, it doesn't look like the Philippines at all. Oh, no. like this is the only place in the Philippines I've seen somewhere that looks like this other than Catanduanes but that was only like one spot yeah. right wow this is incredible it's, incredible. it's, it's so green, green so much trees there's cows and the hills are so steep as well and then you just see the ocean but it's crazy windy here because you know what Batanes is known for really unpredictable weather <laughs> guys did you know like the cows here they're basically spiders <laughs> <laughs> they're like vertical climbing they're vertical. The like goats. <laughs> they're kind of like yeah. Dream destination, let's go. Let's go. So this place is called the Rolling Hills. Apparently the hills literally looks like it's waves. But yeah. we're going up the mountains now and we can't actually go and see like the whole thing because it's private property. But look at this. Alright guys, so we had an amazing time here at the Rolling Hills and it literally blew me away, like literally blew me away because I was flying, um, I tried to fly the drone but the drone was low-key flipping, it was like low-key doing backflips, I'm surprised it didn't crash but at the very top there where the viewpoint is, it's so beautiful, it doesn't even feel like we're in the Philippines, it feels like we're in New Zealand, just like look at this view man, it's like the only countryside that we see in the Philippines so green it's so healthy like it's just, just so untouched and even the cows are super healthy guys and it's just us here right now anyway we're gonna start heading off to our next destination so we'll see you there da -da -na, da -da -na. we are now at one of the most popular spots here in Batanas and that is the Basco lighthouse and this is like iconic to Batanas. You see it in all the pictures, everyone's videos. This lighthouse is just incredible. It's in the perfect spot. It's only five minutes away from the rolling hills. You've got incredible views of the sea and 360 actually just such good views of all the nature and scenery that Batanas has to offer. So you can actually go at the very top of the lighthouse from here. I can't remember how many steps there are but at the very top I'm pretty sure you can see both of the view of the town and the view of the sea as well and you know what I love about Botanis as well I find it so cute like all the houses here are made out of these little pebbles it's so cool it reminds me of Cornwall back in the UK but oh, wow it's so beautiful just like that. we're gonna go up the lighthouse now it's only 53 steps not that high I'm gonna count to be sure but yeah we'll probably see the top this is actually quite cute actually just look at that Ooh.
Alright, so here in Bhutan, they've got this local verse which is called Kanayi. And look how sick this is. It's actually made by um, the leaves of the dates. And it comes with this cool hat. What's it called? Talugong. Just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they normally use this to stop the rain from getting wet, but now they've started using it to stop from getting too burnt from the sun, which is quite good actually. So it's now a multi-purpose use and it looks good. It's quite fashionable, don't you think? I think you should wear it all the it's time. It's better than Gucci. I feel like you should wear it all the time. <laughs> I think so, but it is a bit hot. Did you see the from the when you're walking there and I can't see your face, it actually looks like hair. You look legit. Really? You look, legit. You look like you're in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> are you a, are you a guru? Mm, it's a bit itchy. Is it hot? I mean, is it hot? Uh, Does it, is, it yeah, is it heavy? It feels a bit like, it's kind of heavy. Does it make your he head stiff? <laughs> yeah, actually, I mean, yeah. It's so kind of nice, like it's, it's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna discuss that. What material is this? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it feels like straw, but it's, it's from oh. the dates, right? Yeah. The leaf of the dates. <laughs> It's Amazing. Nice. It's the first time I've ever had hair this long. Yeah. The costume is actually so cool. It's not that heavy and it's actually quite warm as well. Yeah, so it's just a donation. Um, that's just on this spot, but I think later on in our Botanist trip, we're going to go and like see more of this mm. and like where it comes from, how they make it. So yeah, if you want to try it on here, it's just a short donation. And guys, leave a like down below if you like it. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should buy one? Leave a comment down below, guys. It might not fit in our luggage, does it? It's fine, we, we're going to wear it at the airport. Oh, I don't know. We It's such an incredible viewpoint of the majority of Botanis actually. I can see so much from here and one of the main things we can see is actually these like mazes. I saw it from the plane earlier. It's basically all these like looks like bushes in like squares and all these different shapes and I just thought that looks so cool and so unique here in Botanis. I've never seen that anywhere else. But we just found out from our tour guide that that is actually a land divider. So it's so that the locals here can determine whose land is whose. So that's super cool. I didn't realize that's what it was for. I thought it was just kind of like a natural thing. I didn't know that they did it for a reason, you know? But yes, it's such an incredible view from up here. I can literally see everything. The landscape is honestly so, so scenic. I can see loads of the ocean, loads of the coastline, as well as obviously the farmer's fields. And there's even like a lone coconut tree just on its own. It's such a dramatic landscape. Like I just feel like Botanis, everywhere you look, it's just so stunning, so beautiful. It doesn't look like anywhere else in the Philippines. It's just so, so dramatic and it's just incredible. It's, I just feel so lucky to be here and seeing all this right now. It's so green, luscious. Wow, like, I don't know what to say, I'm kind of speechless. I mean, I'm saying lots, but it's because like, I'm just starstruck, honestly. This place is amazing. Such a great view, like, I just can't believe that we're here in Botanis. Like, yeah. I just felt like we would never go because the ticket was so expensive, but like now we're actually here. And to be honest, the only reason we're really here, like still the ticket was expensive, but because we had friends also wanting to do it, like it just felt like, well, if you're gonna pay that much, we can, we'll pay, that we can much. pay that much. But guys, I, I'm not gonna lie, like the ticket to Botanis is quite pricey. But there are deals out there, like recently I saw that in February time you can get round trip with PAL for 5k which is like a quarter of the price we paid. So just look out for deals if you really want to come, make it happen and you can experience amazing views just like this. Don't let your dreams be dreams, make it happen. <laughs> I've never heard you say that before but I love that. So our last stop for today's adventure is the Japanese tunnel and it's basically the Japanese hideout. Like, look at this. It's so cool. It's about 250 meters and apparently there's like a few doors which go in, but look at that. Oh, it is dark though. So I don't think you'll be able to see anything. I think back my white lady Jan. <laughs> Super dark, yeah, in this tunnel. Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, so you don't even need to like duck down because it's actually quite high. And apparently, there's two decks. So there's one lower deck and there's one upper deck. But 
It's actually so cool and interesting. Like, look. Oh my god, look how deep that is. It's probably like an anaconda. Wow, that's okay. Okay. So keep on next now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be last. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> next minute you won't come out. <laughs> what is this? Oh. To get some air. That's sick. Okay, don't stand. Oops. Don't stand, guys. Oh, just squat. Why am I last? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Woo. That was cool. Yeah. That's a good hiding place, I'll give him that. Mm. So apparently the Japanese paid the Ibatan people to build that tunnel. So guys, when you come out of the tunnel, you come out from this beautiful scenic view. And the winding roads are just incredible. And it, like the air is so fresh out here, like everything is amazing. It's oh. so fresh. Wow. Oh look at that, that looks so dramatic, no? Like that rock with all the... Oh yeah. It looks like something out of the Lion King. <laughs> Very cool. Oh look, I think I can see the sunset. Look at this view, man. Oh, you can see the lighthouse too. Oh. And the airport. Oh wow, look at the runway. So just everywhere we go, there are so many cows and the cows here are super fat and super healthy. The only thing they eat is actually grass. And apparently here in Batanas, beef is actually cheaper to buy than pork, which is the complete opposite to the rest of the Philippines. Normally it's the other way around and the pork is cheaper. So that's actually something that's super different. But look, like just behind me here, there's like a carabao. Can you see him? He's in the grass. Oh, wow. So right now we're actually closer to Taiwan than we are Manila. Taiwan is like in that direction, which is crazy to think. Like we took a flight here. I think the flight was like an hour and 40 mm. minutes. But like technically, if we were to fly from here to Taiwan, not that there is flights, we'd probably get there quicker. And from here, we can actually see the airport. Right, look at that runway. The runway is actually so, so short. Cool. I feel like that's the smallest runway, no? Yeah. It's honestly so small. No wonder the landing was so scary yesterday. All right, so we had an amazing first day here in Batanas. Even though if it's like a uh, half day, it felt like a full day. It feels like we've done so much. Yeah, and first impressions of Batanas is it's like so different to anywhere else. It's super calm and quiet. Like there's not really that hustle and bustle mm. that you get in most places. It's super like nature everywhere. So green, so fresh, so clean. Very clean. It's like just the, incredible. The air as well. In order to get a tricycle here, you can't just like go onto the road and get a tricycle. You have to like ring them each yeah. time, which is so strange. It's not like that anywhere else. It's really like unique. And guys, this is just the North Tour. This is just our first taste of what Botanas has to offer. Upcoming in the rest of this video, we have also got the South Tour. So let's go for dinner and we'll catch you in the morning. The restaurant that we wanted to go to, which is Nudes, was fully booked. Um, well, they had a little party there, but now we ended up walking and we are at Vunong at Jessica's place. And we came in and, she, and the woman was like, it's only for reservation, but they're going to let us in because they don't really reheat food. So if they cook loads, they don't really like like to reheat it so they like to cook everything fresh we just sat down and they went away we didn't get given a menu or anything so we really didn't know what they were bringing so they brought us some beef soup i don't think we've ever had anything like this before it looks super good oh that is good so apparently they're going to give us a set um i don't know what the set is all i heard was beef steak some turmeric rice and some kind of fish it's all like in a uh, banana leaf so I can't wait for that, but anyway, this soup is so good. So the lady has delivered a basket with four parcels in it. And basically this is turmeric rice with sample of different Ibatan dishes. And it comes wrapped in this special leaf, which the tour guide earlier on our North tour actually showed us that leaf. It's not a banana leaf, it's something different. Oh, is it not? It's, no. a, it's a special type of leaf that you only get in Batanas. But look how cool that is. Wow, I'm excited to open it Let's up. Let's that. Let's go. What does oh, it smell oh God, like? Oh it's dripping. Ooh. <gasps> and the, our tour guide actually showed us the exact tree and the leaf that they use oh, for the so dishes here. Um, oh my God, it smells amazing. Yeah. Let's open the rice. Adobo. Adobo. That's the oh. Adobo. That's the witch. So, we've got the fish here, we've got um, this kind of ball 
Meatball? Fishball? Meat, fishball, I'm not sure what it is. But apparently they do a special adobo here where they don't even use soy sauce or vinegar. They just deep fry it. Uh, uh, let's try the, the adobo. Really is it good? Does it actually taste like adobo? Mm. But, but it's so tender, it literally just melts in your mouth. Well, actually good. It's like yellow rice. It's so good. Let's try the beef steak. Mmm, so good. Yes. Mmm, really good. Tastes like barbecue. Yeah. It's like almost like grilled. Mm. Huh. It Still or fried. Like adobo. Or fried. Yeah. <laughs> Still yeah. tastes like adobo. All right. So we also got given a dessert. What's the name of this one? I'm not sure. We can't remember. Okay, it's camotes. It's that fruity. It's delicious. It's, it's like banana. sweet and savory at the same time. Mm. Mm. It's crispy and crunchy. Oh, it's good. That was such a good meal. It was so nice to have something super local and something so unique because I feel like we've tried every food in the Philippines nearly. So it's nice to try something completely different, completely new. And if you want to try that, you will need to reserve uh, because they don't tend to do walk-ins. And it costs 400 pesos per person no per set. So not bad at all, actually, for that experience. Anyway, into the tri school, we've noticed that if you just get the people wherever you go in whatever restaurant, you can just ask them to call the tri school for you and then they do it. Oh, we've got a green light in here. Party. Oh, they're pretty small tri schools here. That's another thing I love about the Philippines is that the tri schools are different everywhere you go. Are you all right? You're a bit squished. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, let's go and rest and we'll see you tomorrow for our next tour. I guess it is now the next morning and it's time for our south tour with Tatus and we literally had breakfast at the hotel and then after that we went out straight away. It started raining a little bit but right now it seems alright. After a short 10 minute drive we have arrived at our first location which is the Chawa view deck. And to get here we drove the most stunning road so around the whole island of Batanes are these beautiful stunning coastal roads which go around the mountain and it's absolutely beautiful. Chow View Deck is absolutely beautiful like the view is just insane and again it's just us and look at this look at the view there wow like you can get the spiral steps there look going down all the way down to the beach is that a beach or a coast it's just a coast just a coast <laughs> but let me show you the main view because uh, there's a viewpoint literally right there it's quite cool actually because um i think this is a good place for sunset because you can literally just sit down there realities of travel guys a big puddle it has been raining all morning so so it's gonna climb over so that she doesn't get wet come on come on that's it <laughs> oh my god oh my god that's so close Look how easy I do it and then Zoe's there struggling. <laughs> but guys, oh my god, look at this Whoa. view. It's wow. A, oh, it's such a dramatic view. Like I feel like everyone in Batanas were like, whoa. Wow. whoa. Wow. But guys, just the backdrop of the view there. Oh my god, like the mountains on the other side. Wow. It's a bit gloomy and like the mountains doesn't seem like that green. Because it's been like raining. It has been raining, but it's just that vibe, you know, it's just got that moody vibe, which is quite cool. Yeah, I feel like the moody vibe really actually matches Batanas, yeah. especially as you've con constantly got waves crashing into the rocks yeah. and things like that. It's just really like powerful. I feel like this island is so powerful, you know, yeah. that when it rains, it pours. When it's windy, it's windy. It's when just it's, unpredictable. Yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're just going to enjoy this here. Just look at that. Wow. And like, look at the drop. Ooh. At that goat, just at the edge of the cliff, there. What the heck? Bah. Bah. Oh, there's two Zoe. You want to speak to them? Bah. And you do know I am a goat, so. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest of all things. <laughs> oh, there's three. Yeah, because they, they are the best. Like, look, they're just walking, just carefree. There's 
actually quite a lot of rock pools here in Botanis because there's so many like rocks in the sea where the waves kind of come crashing over they kind of get leave these nice rock pools and I don't think you'd be able to actually go down and like swim in them or anything it's too rough but it's quite cool that they're just kind of forming all around the island. Guys, what an amazing way to start the morning by starting it off with this beautiful view right here. It's honestly just like so fascinating seeing such different landscapes mm. here in the Philippines. And like, like I said, it's just so different to anywhere else and so unique. But yep, this was just a quick stop. Highly recommend. First up of the South Tour. So let's go to the next stop. Ta-da, let's go. So a five minute down the road from our first stop, we have arrived at our next location, which is the Mahatao Shelter Point. This is where all the boats dock as well. Um, Mahatao means like a floating island, which is like right this in front of us. It's so cool actually. It's, like that's a separate island. Oh, so that's one of the 11 Batanas Islands? Um, I think so, yeah. So Batanas is made up of 11 islands, but only three of them are inhabitable. Mm. So maybe this is one of the 11. Maybe, yeah. But it's got like a nice, I think it's quite good actually because it kind of stopped the wave mm. from going inside the port. And the water here is actually a really yeah. nice colour. It's kind of like a deep greeny emerald. Look at that. Like, Wow, and then on the other side here, this is where all the boats dock. Quite cool actually. Mm. It's like all the local fishermen boats. Yeah. gem of a spot <laughs> we're literally on the side of the road and like underneath uh, like underneath us is actually a lagoon and it's, it's, it looks so clear the minute i saw it i was like oh i like this so wow. this place is called spanish lagoon it's because only the spanish priest used to be able to just come here and his nuns right mm -hmm. didn't she say and the nuns and the nuns maybe i can't <laughs> remember however um it is now open to all the public which is so cool and we're probably going to start walking down to actually see the water and how clear the water is up close. So It's super blue. Like I wasn't expecting to see this colour of blue here in Batanes. Mm. I thought it'd be more like deep blues, but this is like a really nice light. It's kind of like the colour water you see in like Croatia yes. and like Italy and things. It looks so nice and with all the rocks underneath, it's kind of twinkling. It's like a sparkly blue. I like it. It's amazing. Wow. Anyway, let's go down. Even just the walk down is absolutely stunning. It kind of looks like one huge rock pool. I don't <laughs> think it is a rock pool, but it's like, well, it's a lagoon, isn't it? That's why it's called lagoon. But, um, oh, it just looks amazing. It's like how all the water just kind of like is coming from the sea quite powerfully. And then it just kind of trickles over the rocks into the lagoon. It looks so nice. And look, there's some kind of interesting bird. It looks like a tiny flamingo. I have no idea what kind of bird it is, but it looks really cool just sat in the middle of the sea on this small rock just chilling i want that life Stay chilling. So when I was droning, I literally saw a nice beach on the other side. So apparently to get to that beach, there's actually a shortcut from down here, which is um, going through a cave. How cool is that? Like a secret passage. Oh, it's so, it's actually so tight and small. Like we have to go through that little gap there. Wow. Let's go through the cave. It's so tight, eh? Whoa. Uh, yeah. Kitty, kitty. You won't fall, you got shoes on. Try and go on your side. Yeah, like that. That's it. I promise you. I promise you. It's quite tight in here. Oh. I feel like we're in uh, you know, the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, yeah. I can see the light. Whoa. Right. 
That's it. Oh, and then we are. Hey, ano tawag ng beach nito ate? White beach. May danga. May dangub. May dangub. May dangub. Okay, so we have arrived at the beach. This beach is actually called My Dangub Beach, also known as the White Beach because oh, oh wow, just look at that. Nice. It's very isolated as well. The waves are so calm. Oh, wow. So this is actually such a stunning beach. It's just so picturesque. You've obviously got like the big cliffs in the background. It kind of looks like the Seychelles because there's this huge boulder there and it's like a really soft, like smooth boulder with all the like coconut trees above it, around it, even in that boulder, like it's on top of it. And then the whole beach is just surrounded by cliffs and the coconut trees. It's just absolutely stunning. The sand is proper white, lots of stones and like coral and pebbles but it's just beautiful and look how clear it is look at this backdrop that is like the best beach backdrop ever yeah normally you just have like lots of sand and then coconut trees you don't normally get like a backdrop like this at the back of a beach it's just so nice and then just down there it's just the road yeah insane like the windy road here in Botanis. oh wait the road is down here yeah, the not road up is, there. no the road is oh. literally there that's, That's why we came through the cave, which is a shortcut. But just look at that backdrop, the huge cliff, all the coconut trees, and we're on the beach. Insane. And we literally got the beach all for ourselves. Yeah. So nice. So peaceful. <laughs> So our time at that beautiful beach has come to an end. That's actually one of my favorite spots, I think. I'd say I put that like high on my list of where we went in Batanas. But we are now at our next stop, and it's this house, which is the oldest house here in Batanas, and it was built in 1877, right? 1877? And it's still lived in. It reminds me of um, our house when I was little. Really? It looked like this? Not like like this, but you know, like that kind of vibe, like old, yeah. So the house is made out of stones and corals, but first it's all like dead corals and they cook it first. Actually, other houses that was built way before this, however, this is the only house that is still standing and it actually got hit by an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.7. Oh, it's nice, strong. And look but, at it, still yeah. so strong. But yeah guys, apparently they cook the corals to turn it into limestones. And that's how they used to do it back then. Alright guys, so we have arrived at this cute coffee shop which is called Honesty. It's called Honesty because there's literally no one there and they trust you to literally just buy and pay. It's like there's literally no one. This came about because back then there used to be a lot of sailors and fishermen that would come to the port and they wanted to go to a coffee shop or something like that and this was the only one that would stay open until early hours of the morning and obviously they didn't want someone manning it during the night so they, that's how the honesty just came about. It was kind of like they just trusted them to pay, have their coffee and then eat. solely a coffee shop but now it's actually a souvenir shop as well so let's go and have a look Ooh. it's like tables and chairs and everything so they've actually got lots of snacks so they've even got like cakes some so they've got loads of snacks so they've got cakes they've got like loads of um, chips banana chips they've got drinks they've got some souvenirs as well like some pasalubo it's actually so cool and you literally just Drop the oh. payment here. <laughs> so cute. So we have been continuing down south here around Botanis and everywhere we go, when we look outside, it just looks amazing. 
As we've been driving further down south, the coastal roads have just got more picturesque and just more breathtaking. All of us have just been sat in the car going, oh, wow. Wow. wow, it's just amazing. The views are just incredible. The landscape is just like nowhere else we've ever been. And it's just amazing. You just see the rocks, the sea, the cliffs. We have now arrived at Alapad Rock Formation, as well as Madangai Hills Viewpoint. And it looks stunning. Just look at this, guys. So right behind me here is Alapad Rock Formation. And cars literally go through these two rocks. And it's all natural, guys. It's not man-made. And it's got the famous sign, which is blow your horn. And it got famous because of a tennis area that was made here in Batanas. But look at the formation, guys. Wow. And then we're literally surrounded by mountains. And then on the other side here is viewpoint. It's just, just look at that. I'm literally speechless. As we're driving around, there's so many goats at the edge of the cliff. Like, look at this guy here. Look at him. What are you staring at? But, but, oh, look at that. Look how small. It's so cute. I really want to take one home. We're making our way down to Mangdangai viewpoint. Mangdangai? <laughs> Mangdangai. Madangai. Madangai. There we go. Madangai viewpoint. Jan and Anna are already up there. Whew. And there's a swing. Oh yeah, the right swing here, is so it? cute right in front of the ocean and the big rock. You're gonna go on it, Zah? Uh, yeah. Because Zah's the girl in this relationship. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Here you go, babe. Flick your hair. That's it, and swing. Yeah, there you are. Lovely. Wow, look at that view. And look, the sun's come out fully. Wow. <laughs> and it's been raining all day, guys. It's been gloomy all day until now. But you know my favorite bit at this place? Is that piece of rock there? That, is that a rock or an island? It's a rock. It's a rock? I'm saying rock. But there's also a wave pool. Yeah, like, it just looks amazing how the... I really want to go in that wave yeah. pool, uh, in that rock pool. But I think it's too dangerous because the waves are so strong mm. coming in, you just get like spun around. And one of the rocks, it literally looks like a waterfall down there. Can you see it like on the other yeah, side? Yeah, that's there? the rock pool. That's where the water's coming out of the <laughs> rock pool because so much water is going into it. It just looks incredible. So guys, just look at that view. Whoa. 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 But that's just one side. And then look up right behind us, it's all mountains. And then on the other side here, you get even more better view with a rock formation. Yeah. It just really feels like we're in the countryside, but with the ocean. Like, obviously, you don't normally have countryside and ocean together, but it feels like we've got the best of both worlds. We've got the best of the countryside and the best of the seaside and the coast. This <sighs> is what I really expected Botanis to be like. Yeah, like really kind of hilly, green, and then the deep sea. ocean with the big rocks and the waves just crashing in. Honestly, it's just one of my favorite places. This has to be one of our top places we've been to in the Philippines. Even though we've not had the best weather, it's still just been so amazing, so beautiful. And we've just been blown away, honestly. Because it's just so different and so unique to anywhere we've ever been. Like there's similarities to so many different places, but this is the only place that kind of like has it all. Like it's similar to Hawaii, it's similar to Cornwall, it's similar to, you know, the Philippines in some places as well. Like everything is similar. It's got so many characteristics of so many different places and it all just kind of comes together and works so magnificently. And it's just amazing. I'm having such a good time. Woo! All right, guys, so we have arrived at our last stop, which is also a lunch area. We've just finished having some food. It was 400 pesos per person for this like set. And now we are checking out the most amazing view. Wow. Right in front of us. And you know what it's called? It's actually called Marlboro Hills. And guys, it doesn't look real. It looks like it's a painting. It's just amazing. Just look at that. Oh, this wow. is the best viewpoint yet. Not only have we got perfect weather, it's just everywhere you look. And it's just so massive. I feel like a tiny ant right now. 
in the wow. big wide world. Whoa. The view is just so vast. Like there's so much to see from up here and it's just the most luscious green view that we've had so far. And then obviously just so much ocean <laughs> too. Wow. You can see all the fields with all the little separations that Botanis is known for. You can see the, is that a volcano? I think it's a volcano. I think that's one of the volcanoes here on the island. You can see the other islands because mm. there's actually 11 islands that make up Botanis. Yeah, there's a cute lighthouse all the way down there as well, guys. Just looks so beautiful. You can see all the beaches, all the coast, all the cliffs. It's honestly, Matt, like... <laughs> She's speechless. <laughs> she doesn't know what to say. And cows. Wow. And guys, it's not even that windy. Like, it's the perfect weather right now. Wow. You can literally make some friends here as well. Like, wow. Like, hey. Hello. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> This was worth the 300 pound ticket. Ang ganda ng dito. This is incredible. This is like, this is the Botanes you think of when you picture it in your mind. There's actually like a little diamond rock sticking out of the sea right down there. It kind of reminds me of in Nusa Penida, they also have like a diamond rock that kind of looks similar to that, honestly. Oh, it just looks so stunning with the rolling hills, the lighthouse, the sea just looks like it goes on forever. I think Taiwan is actually in that direction over there. Wow, stunning. There's so much greenery. We've gone from having like cloudy, gloomy, rainy days to pff, scorching. But it's so nice that the sun has come out at this beautiful spot. Like, so we can enjoy it in all its glory. Guys, this place is just unreal. It just doesn't even seem like it's real and that we're here. I know, it's like a pinch me moment, you know? We've just got the most perfect weather conditions right now. We've just got the most perfect views and oh, everywhere we look we're just surrounded by nature and cows. And we always knew like Philippines is like just basically an island life right but yeah. this it feels like we're just in the countryside. Yeah which I never thought we would like experience <laughs> mm. in the Philippines you know. And we've always wanted to come here but the ticket was just so expensive but we paid and it was definitely worth it. Masmura guys, yeah. so, so good. Like I was like crying at the price of the ticket. And obviously, cause our friends wanted to go too, we we're like, let's just do it, you know? And then I'm so glad we did it. Like this is, this is when you're like, yes, yes. thank God we came. Oh. What a great way to start our Botanis trip. Like, wow. Yeah, so our first two days and our first two tours have just been absolutely incredible. And we've really, not only met our expectation with Batanes, but also exceeded our expectations. It's just been so incredible. It's insane, guys. Like the view, the landscape, the sea, the rock formation, a bit of everything. Everything is just so like, I can see why they call it breathtaking Batanes, mm. because honestly- Took a breath out. Yeah. <laughs> took my breath away. <laughs> yeah, Zara is like speechless Whoa. all the time. I'm just chatting absolute gobbledygook because when I get excited and when I'm like, when I when it's something so amazing, I just start talking absolute rubbish. I just love it. It's so nice. So we've done both the North and the South tour with Tatus, and then we are also going to be doing uh, another tour tomorrow, an island hopping with them as well. So can't wait. if you want to check them out, I think uh, I've, we've got their number, so I'll leave it in the description if you want to check them out. It's been super easy. They've been taking us around mm. in the car. Everything seemed to be sort of like half day, yeah. which is actually quite good. But obviously, it depends what time you wake up. But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed our first Botanis vlog. So if you loved the video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down press below. Press that notification bell on. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.